What's going on, guys? David here, Diecast Life and Death. So, I found a little metal box today. Yeah, a little metal box. And in it are some castings. And I remember why I packed this box the way I did. And it may not, I don't know, guys. But it brought up a thought in my mind. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. But I look at all of these custom videos and everyone seems to be doing customs on current castings. And I guess my question is this. There are some great castings in our history that might possibly make for some great castings today. Customs. You know, take the old, take the old and make it new and make it custom. And I'll tell you what spawned that thought. Yeah. Who's this car? Now, this is the old Hot Wheels Cadillac Seville. Now, somebody, and guys, I found these cars at like garage sales and whatnot, and they were all just put in a box of whatnot. But I, you know, this is the one that spawned my thought curiosity. And you say, well, how in God's name did that happen? Yeah, I agree. But I'm going to explain. This one got hit by a baby, apparently. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you say, well, what? What could you do with this? And I agree, because some kid, at some point in his life, painted the silver over, and I just, I used a razor blade just to scratch off this paint, just because I knew what was underneath it. But I wanted to verify. And so some kid, at some point, painted the side of this car with, you know, the old testers, Model paint. Because he wanted an all silver one. Because, I mean, let's be honest. The silver with the purple two-tone isn't... Isn't the nicest looking Hot Wheel ever done. But... And here's where it gets interesting. So, the other day I was watching... I don't remember... Probably Ministry of Diecast or something, but Hot Wheels is returning. And this car was made, guys, in nine was it nineteen ninety? Is that right? Yeah. This casting and I don't know if it's a new tool, but why would you retool it? But I don't know, but Premium Hot Wheels is coming back out with this. Cadillac Seville. Don't believe me? After this video, go check. It's coming out in a gold with brown two-tone on the side. So, this, what I have here is a box of interesting castings that might, might, might make for good-looking customs and or restorations. And I'm hoping that you guys will put down in the comments 
what your thoughts are on this whole topic. So with that, I'll push this one out of the way because I have a number of castings here that I want to bring out. So we have this old matchbox, you know, Lesney, of the old Mercury. And this is a 1970 version of the old, you know, transitional Superfast. But, you know, you could make a custom out of this. You know, there's no damage other than, you know, the paint. And you could steal a light bar off of, you know, something and stick it on here. And decals. So, it's just... It was thought provoking and it it brought up some interesting topics and you know the old square body Tomica pocket cars Chevrolet truck and guys look at how the square body revolution and this one has opening doors yeah I mean, the old, that's why I said, is this a good piece for a custom? Picture some real riders from Hot Wheels with the knobby tires, you know, maybe lifted a little bit with a nice fresh coat of paint. These are just some old, old castings that, you know, I put away in a little metal box. And I guess maybe that little metal box was so we could have this conversation tonight. Yeah. And this one. And you say, my God, there's no interior. Yeah. I get it. But this one, spelling... Goldberg Productions. Yeah. This casting of what my guess is a 73, 74 Chevrolet Impala police car was done for the show called The Rookies. And it took me a while to find this. Not the this piece of shit. It took me a while to find what the origins of this car was. And this car was originally a SFPD, as you can tell by the blue. And somebody has, you know, defiled it. But, you know, with an interior out of, you know, I don't know, and the glass out of, I don't know, and I, I could probably make glass. But some of these castings are ones that do they deserve to live on? And that's, that is the question. This next one, the FJ Cruiser. And this is a Tomica. Yeah. Total Land Cruiser, opening doors. And other than the paint, this one's in spectacular shape. Even the wheels. And on this one, this one's got an unusual feature. Um, this one is a little flip up board. Caution, go left. I guess this one parked behind the old snowplow or something. I don't know. But there are obviously three amber beacons on the top. Restoration? Custom? I don't know. But great little castings. Next one is this little Lesney. The old radio rentals. And somebody did some work on this. Uh, you know, with 
What, what, the worst paint on the planet by a brush. And why did I save it? Why did I pick it up? Well, I don't know, but no wheels. Oops, sorry. There's the base. TV service fan. But the old roll-up door still works on this little guy. And it could be made into a cool custom. And this is why we're having this conversation. Because there was a ladder that went on here. And a beacon that went here. But this is what I want to hear from you guys. What should I do with these castings? You know, because I mean, they're not worth... A lot of money on the old market. And here's your old Yatming. Number 1071. And it doesn't even say what it is, but we know what it is. It's a Chevy Citation. No, not a Citation like you got a ticket from the cop. The Chevy Citation. And, you know, opening doors. Metal bias. But nothing on the bottom. But a neat, neat little casting. Something you don't see in Hot Wheels. Not that you would want to see it in Hot Wheels. But if you made a custom of this, it would be something that, you know, nobody has. I shouldn't say nobody. Guys... I don't mean to sound like I have solid gold here, because I don't. I'm just showing you some things that showed up in my box today that I thought might make for a cool casting to customize. And tell me what you think. But So here's just a basic plastic wheel matchbox um, you know, number 24, Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. And this is the one with the, the opening boot. And stay open. There you go. But, honestly, besides the fade on the old, you know, the chips on the base and the fade on the, the Zamac stuff, the body and the glass in the interior... Yeah, the glass needs to be cleaned up. Because God knows where this thing lived for the last, you know, 25 years. But it's in good shape. You know, you put some Rail Riders, maybe from, you know, Matchbox Collector Series, or I, I don't know. This is why I'm showing you guys these things. Then we have the old Hot Wheels. Mattel, Hong Kong. And by the size of this base, guys, tell me something. Why on God's green earth? Did they not have enough room to print the name of the casting? I mean, here, no, no, here, no, here, no, here, no, here, no, here, no. How about here? No. Mm -mm. But the old Greyhound bus, it could be a cool casting. Or a custom. You know, polish the old silver side here. Uh, yeah. Guys, comments below. You know, which one would you like to see a custom done on? Now, I have one that's kind of an unusual one. And I have some choice words for this one. But this is the old Majorette. And they didn't even, yeah, made in France. I'm surprised they even chose to put their country's name on it. Because they didn't put anything else on the bottom. Because quite frankly, guys. Yeah, and the old tongue on the trailer is, is taken out. But you put like a motorcycle front on here with the chopper kind of thing. But honestly, you tell me. 
This looks like a shit house. I mean, a porta potty. Yeah. And yeah, the roof comes off for you voyeurs. And I don't even know what went on here. Probably some, oh, I don't know. And I might offend somebody here. And you know what? I don't care. There's probably some unisex symbol for wokeness that went in here that said it was a boys and girls porta potty. Yeah. But I digress. I'm going to continue on real quick. So we have another um, casting. And this one is made by I don't know who, but 79Z28, based on, you know, the proclivities of the old casting, because that's a 79 front end, maybe 80, 79, maybe 80, taillights, T-top, but not T-top, just molded in, cast in T-tops, but the old opening doors, and, you know, we have a Super Treasure Hunt um, Camaro casting of this one. But it doesn't have the T-tops molded in. And you can see the interior is still there. Yeah, these are the questions I struggle with. And then, another square body. And this is another Yatmin Blazer. Well, which blazer is it? Well, back when this casting was made, there was only one blazer. What do you mean? Well, there was no S10 blazer. Because this is based on the 73, 74, 75. But the condition of it, while all the paint is, you know, gone, it's straight. And it will take to a polish and a sand. And the glass is nice. And this one could be a good looking casting. And originally this one had suspension. Um, and I'm sure the wheels have just popped off the axle. But that could be fixed. And there was a back bumper on here, but it's not there. But a piece of, you know, double pipe for a pipe bumper or something on the back. I hope this video is thought-provoking because, guys, garage sales, flea markets, antique marts, there are a lot of castings out there that deserve life. And not everyone wants to see the same Porsche 993 or 992 or wide body or gasser Corvette as a custom. Some of these cars deserve life. And this little um, Majorette uh, Mercedes 350 SL. So I guess they wanted you, you know, this is only the six banger. But yeah, let's be honest, it could be a 450 or a 500. But, you know, inserted tail lamps, opening trunk. Decent interior. Some of these castings could could do be fantastic as customs. And then we have this old girl. And I call no, I'm gonna revise that. She's an old lady. So the old Hot Wheels Rolls Royce Silver Shadow Red Line. And you know, maybe this car should stay as it is. I don't know. But it's the enamel version. So it's not a Spectre Flame. So my guess is, and I haven't done a lot of checking on it, but my guess is this was a one of the last releases of this, you know, Rolls Royce casting. But the old opening hood. But I guess what I'm saying is it's, it's not Spectre Flame. But, guys, this, this 
is a good looking casting that could use some life. Yeah. And even the red line wheels, if you look at them, the car is beat to living daylights. But the wheels and the red lines are in pretty good shape. And so is the base. I mean, look at the shine on the base on this one. So, next one, we pull out the old Hotbird. Yeah. And they don't even call it that. Was there not enough room here, Mattel? Mattel, get off your ass. There's room for printing. But I digress. This is the old Hotbird with the gold wheels. Yeah. There's the gold. But, you know, and they, they ran with this casting for a long time. So maybe I should just shut up about it. But, you know, it could be a cool custom. It doesn't have to be something out of a 2022, you know, C case or D case or E case that you customize. Go to the old flea markets. Find the old bodies. Find the cool old cars. And do a custom on those. And guys, I appreciate all of the artwork that I see on some of these customs. And man, I am blown away. Because quite frankly, I don't have the talent. And when I see them, I appreciate them for what they are. The only problem I have, and I shouldn't say problem, guys, that's that's not right. The only thing that strikes me is, is that I see castings customized over and over and over. And they all kind of start in a way to look the same. And that is the reason for this video. Because there are castings out there that are fabulous like this non-branded Cadillac Seville yeah you say well we already saw that yeah you did yes you did you saw that in the old Hot Wheels but this one's a different one and would make an entirely different custom and this one's in pretty good shape as far as, you know, the old paint. Decal. But what Cadillac Seville had racing stripes? None. But, you know, it's got a nice chrome grill, chrome headlights. Interesting, interesting to see how. And the only other manufacturer that did this, Seville was Tomika in the pocket cars. And I showed that in another earlier video of um, cars that I found at a flea market. But no opening doors, you know, no inserted or not inserted, but you know, the taillights are part of the interior on this one, but they stick through and it makes for a nice detail. But you know, guys, there are so many unsung cars out there that we don't even think about as far as castings go. And this one is another Yatming. Yeah, it's a little rough. But it's the Ford Galaxy 500 XL, the 66 or 66 model, yeah. And... You know what? Besides the paint, this one could come out really nice. And it's got the old opening doors feature. I don't know, guys. 
You tell me. What would make a cool custom? And I've got a couple more to pull out. And we're going to call this one done. But this little guy. Wire axled, you know, transitional super fast of the old, um, I think this is called the steak truck. Um, let's see if I can find it. Super fast. Yeah. Oh, site hut truck. Yeah. There was a little box camp, not camper, but building that went on here. But, you know, you make the, the wood for the bed and paint the body up nice. And put some cool wheels and rims. Some of these old castings could be phenomenal. As customs. You know, make a nice you know, custom front, chrome front bump, bumper. I don't know. And the last one for the night. This old Tomika, and I don't know why this one was actually in the old, um, in that box. Because this is pretty dang nice. Well, if I could get the door open. Um, come on, Tommy. There you go. So, the opening rear hatch. The golf livery, which is in pretty good shape on that side. Good shape on this side. You know, relatively. But it's got some flea bites up here. And a couple right here. But this is the old uh, Ford, what, L9000 probably? Um, what do they call it? Ford truck. Well, that's, duh, it says Ford on the front. But, you know, guys, I know this has probably bored you to tears. And I hope it hasn't. Because I'm trying to, you know, bring something to the table that's a little bit different. And thought-provoking. Because at the end of the day, guys, anyone can go to the old Walmart tonight and buy a Porsche 992 Hot Wheel or a Gasser 62 Corvette or a Gasser... Nova Station Wagon, and create a custom. And while although I appreciate those, and I do, I literally do. But sometimes it's better to look, rewind a little backwards to find the old gems that are worthy of a continued life. And guys, with that, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate every one of you. Comment and I will respond. What was your favorite? What was your least favorite? Restore? Customize? Ideas? I don't know. I have this box of cars. And I'm conflicted as to what to do with them. And I would like to hear your input. Guys, we will talk to you on the next episode of God Knows What We're Going to Talk About. Talk to you soon. Bye.